Lisbeth's police station in Coal Island. Police say the shots, including heavy machine gun fire, came from several directions, riddling the fortress-like building with bullets. No one was injured. The IRA men, at least ten of them, made their getaway. A mile and a half up the road, beside a churchyard, police say soldiers in uniform encountered armed terrorists in several vehicles. This lorry with two IRA men inside pulled to a halt in the church car park. Both men were shot dead. Mounted on the lorry's tailgate, an anti-aircraft gun used in the attack on the police station. Two AK-47 assault rifles were also recovered. During the shooting, it's believed a stray bullet hit a fuel storage tank in the church and started a blaze which swept through part of the building. A third IRA man was shot dead in this car nearby. The fourth was killed as he ran across the road away from the church trying to escape. And two others were shot and injured. One of them was hit in another getaway car, which ended up crashing into a ditch nearly half a mile away. But police say at least four other IRA men escaped last night in this getaway car, found a mile away, burnt out to destroy evidence. Eyewitnesses to the shooting say there were prolonged bursts of gunfire and flares lit up the churchyard. The shooting went on and on and on. And then there was a wee lull. You could hear awful screaming while the shooting was going on. The local priest who gave the last rites to the dead said he saw undercover soldiers at the scene. Some were wearing uniforms, some had khaki trousers and white different colours of tops. None of them that I saw had army boots on them. So it wouldn't appear to be the regular army. It would appear the security forces knew in advance about this rendezvous point, the place where the lorry and its heavy machine gun was to stop and the IRA men were to have made their getaway. Ulster's security minister said the army had acted correctly. We have a firm security policy uh, and you have seen aspects of that firmness in, in, in the incident overnight. Sinn Féin held a news conference and said last night's shootings were more evidence of a shoot-to-kill policy. Meanwhile, unionist politicians praised the actions of the security forces in opening fire on the men, including the top IRA terrorist Barry O'Donnell. Andrew Simmons, ITN, Cole.